and welcome to HCN Evening News Bulletin. With me, Clint and Suzanne, here are the top stories. The Kalangut police found the body of an unknown person aged between 35 to 40 years in a parking lot of Kalangut Beach on Thursday late evening. According to sources, police have found stabbing marks on the body with a sharp weapon. Police shifted the body for post-mortem at Gore Medical College and Hospital. Police suspect it to be a murder. Unknown dead body found at Kalangut Beach parking. Deceased aged could be between 35 to 40 years. Stabbing marks found on the body with sharp weapons. Bleeding nose. Masking tape wrapped on the neck. Blood stains on shirt. Suspect to be a murder. Police investigation is on. Goa police found two dead bodies of Russian females in two separate apartments in Sierra Leone. One case is related to a suicide while the other case is being probed. In the first case, the Russian national, aged 24 year, committed suicide by hanging herself to the ceiling fan in the kitchen. Police say the deceased yesterday in the absence of her boyfriend committed suicide by hanging herself to a ceiling fan hooked inside the kitchen with the help of a red sari. Upon inquiry, it was revealed that the deceased lady was staying in a rented room with her boyfriend at Gubla Vado or Shell Siolim Goa. Here are the highlights. The incident took place between 3.30 to 6.30. Her boyfriend, when reached at the rented room, found the main door was latched from inside and there was no response from the deceased. Accordingly, he climbed over the metal roof and entered inside the room through the gallery. Further, after lowering the dead body, he shifted the girlfriend to the primary health center in Sioli, where she was declared brought dead. But the police have said that there is no foul play and has suspected and that the dead body preserved at the GMC Bambalim. <laughs> And Titun Kosovo's Gat Patna. Any Amilok and Apil Garda, Kit and Jenny, the Bale the Otana, Tiji Yogeter and Kaiji Guchi, Tempidam DC from Borche, and Itinchi Halsa Richard day by day Kirasapoi, Tenjani, Tijalakshi Dorche, Jenny Kun Tenjit Kirazal, Bishak, Polish and Dernat and Kakuroche, Any Yakisin, Amcha. Anjuna Police Station Chair, PI team. Ye bare tar yogi tar in tije tapashni gatsar vasa. Ani ami oshir panchite gawa tar pe sadhyan appeal karta ke lokani eshi kaise gyoche ani kabar tar gyoche. While in the second case, the police received a call informing that one lady is found dead in her rented room at Oshel Siolin. The deceased lady is identified as Ekaterina. Tiboa, aged 34 years, the Russian national. She was found dead lying in her bedroom. The dead body has been sent for preservation at GMC Mog in Bambalim. As per sources, further, the FRRO Panjim has requested to intimate Russian embassy about the death of the deceased, to intimate her family members and also to depute representatives and NOC to conduct further medical legal formalities. Now, within a span of a month, the crime rate has increased in Goa. Several murders, kidnapping, thefts, rapes, and many more criminal cases are being reported across the state, especially at the coastal belt. Today in this story, we will show you how Goans across the state have strongly reacted to the rising crime rate in the state. Just because the girl was a minor and she was there at the middle of the night doesn't give a leeway to person who raped her, the rapist. Under no circumstances or situations is someone allowed to rape a girl. The only way these rapists will stop their crimes is if the CM interferes and allows the superintendent of police to actually interfere in the matters and get them, get the rapists and the various other crimes to hang until death. That's the only way these rapists will actually get scared of the law. 
we really want to know what is the reason why are these cases increasing why are we girls being victimized what is the reason one after another our girl Siddhi Naik was found in such a bad state two Russian girl had themselves what was the reason who are these people please find them soon please find the cause why Goa is being so unsafe why crime rate is increasing we really want to be safe again we want to make Goa a better place a safe place and we want to ourselves feel safe to go out to go alone to go along the beach side Please make Goa safe again and please find the culprit very soon. Today, we are going to say that we are not safe with our family. We are going to say that we are going to say that we are going to say that we are going to say that. Today, we are going to say that 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 we are going to say that. जे आजकल कितने गोयन चलता पे तो के एक्सपेक्टेड अशिने तो प्रत्येक गोयकार आता चिंतपा जाए तीन ही प्रत्येका ही रिस्पोन्सिबिलिटी आज जान जाए कि तंका फ्यूचर गोवा जो आता तो कसो जाए सो हाँ सग रिक्वेस्ट करता कि प्रत्येक हेर विचार करो आता तो इलेक्शन जे आता नेक्स्ट टाइम तना खरे को लीडर आ पे तक वेचुन हाड़पा With Goans coming out on the streets and raising their voice against the government and officials over mysterious Siddhi Naik's drowning death case, now the Goa police and their investigation progress is under the radar. Now the Goa police are on their toes and going deep in their investigation towards Siddhi Naik's death case. Several CCTV cameras footage are being checked, and also the areas where the deceased was last seen. However, shockingly, a local paper reported that the forensic team at GMC has failed to preserve the Vesera samples and the swab test results since they had prejudged it as a suicide case. Today, Team Herald went to on the field to show you the reality of the investigation of this case. The police were seen across the coastal bed patrolling and also investigating this case. Most of the CCTV footage was also checked. So recently, as per sources, it was revealed that one of the fishermen met the police officials and informed that Sydney Knight's clothes might be thrown somewhere near the Agua Jlo in the rocks. Hence, we reached at the spot to see if anything is visible or found here at the Agua Jlo. However, we'll be moving ahead to see the other sources also to what they have to say or what tip they have given. the police as a part of the follow up to the siddhi naik's death uh, drowning case today we received information uh, wherein we went to different places right from uh, to, to the entire coastal bed right from anjuna till rays magus wherein uh, the father of the deceased also had submitted uh, clues to the police uh, and also the police also received some clues wherein the uh, wherein they could find about uh, much more ahead of uh, about siddhi naik So in this case, today we realize a special police uh, force uh, task force has been formed, uh, wherein the police were deployed at different places in uh, right from Anjuna to Kalangut, the Baga Creek. Now we are at Baga Creek. From there, also in Kalangut, Kandolim Beach, and also to Agua Jail, and then moving ahead to Rays Magos, wherein they got information that, uh, about to find about uh, Siddhi Naik's clothes, where the clothes were. So hence the police were seen uh, investigating on this uh, this coastal belt area that we just mentioned, and also to find about clothes of Siddhi Naik. They also we got uh, we got information that police are also investigating on the CCTV footages at these different places. And now we will uh, head on to other places to see and get lead to this uh, Siddhi Naik's death case. And now an impact story on Thursday. Herald exposed how untreated sewage in Marga was being dumped directly from two sewage treatment plants at Shirwadi, directly into nullas and the fields of Marga. The Herald team saw raw sewage flowing through the fields close to the new district hospital and the South Goa Secretariat complex. Herald noticed four holes and a large quantity of raw sewage water flowing into the river. After the publication of the story, the PWD authorities on Friday have swung into action and blocked all the four holes from where the sewage got discharged. Visuals tells the story. Yesterday's visuals, you will see how 
the sewage was overflowing and flowing into the fields right next to the South Goa District Hospital and Secretariat Complex. By today, all these four horses were closed. Take a look at this which was. cleaning one operation get up. So as a earth kit with the corner Sangpa Mada entire sewerage uh, network down, plant down, entire sewerage system may modern all that all this came down as a Sangpa Mada. Kita Konaja Lakshna uh sewerage network as a line each person yeah the scheme got the last the Jaika down the sewerage corporation down. The lines kind supervised on the sun got the last deep uh choke down overflow fountains at the chamber and land. There's Karana Mullak substandard work. Roads just sink Zada. Toy example as a substandard work. And here, ending point, the sewerage plant. Ajar will be some entire scheme of sewerage. You know, all this came down for the Amadama. Kita Konacha Lakshna, Kokta Amche authorities are. Tanka Ekut interested Haki, Lokang Dakopa, Yami, Italy Shimber Koti, Lining Mulla. Anikitli Shimber Koti, Plantak Mulla, Punta, functioning Zata, Taza Ford, actual Ford Meta, Taja Konaja Lakshna. Now, the Transport Department has issued permit cancellation order to taxis that have not met the first deadline to install fare meters. Acting tough on tourist taxi operators refusing to install the mandatory digital fare meter, the Transport Department has issued the permit cancellation order. What is effectively means that defaulting four wheelers are no longer allowed to operate. Now, the taxi operators in Goa are unhappy with the transport department over this order issue. Kal, I'm so transport minister on a statement. Kala ki sagle taxi car confused asa. Ekao the just statement a massa correct kurun sangta ki ami confused jangna. Government confused Allah and he, he himself confused transport minister. Tarkoso eyes every time to Sangta ki high court directive motor vehicle and digital fare meter of it. I'm checking a practice already all Goa. Tourist motor vehicle angasa. This is yellow black vehicle angasa. This is the same ki NIC. Te fude aning upgradation kurung sutta, digitization kurung sutta. Those NIC cha sangta, zala GPS kidak involved karta. Tini GPS. As per section 125H, VLT and panic button. I stuck a tension in panic button, advantage and disadvantages. Describe Kurunga, discussion Kurunga. Hey, Supreme Court on guidelines delay central motor vehicle guidelines. Are. Wide na, but as a eyes him digital fare meters go in tourist motor vehicle on fit karpa a force karta kaiden three state touches all in the tourist permit eka. Meter ho feed zaina. The 
during the ongoing pandemic, many have gone to their roots to farm. In this story, we will show you the side from the farmers in Moira. Here, the farmers from Moira have done huge cultivation of vegetable in a unique way. This time, it is not only paddy that was cultivated, but also cultivated vegetables at the side. Now for the weather forecast, once again, Goa will witness heavy rainfall during the next 48 hours, says the IMD. This is due to the low pressure area lies over the coastal Odisha and a journey northwest bay of Bengal, which will move towards the west north westwards during the next 48 to 24 hours. And now we end this news bulletin with the cartoon of the day image. That's all we have in today's news bulletin. For more updates, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel at HCN Goa. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Oh Goa to stay alerted out there.